Hello everyone. Uh, today, uh, our lecture number five, we will continue uh, calculating moles of uh, gases in terms of um, uh, calculating moles of gases, and uh, we will calculate moles of gases at variable temperature and pressure. As I told you earlier, that whenever at uh, we have specific temperature and pressure, that is at uh, room temperature and pressure. Uh, the room temperature which is 25 degrees centigrade and pressure 1 atmospheric pressure. We usually uh, use a formula uh, that is moles divided by 24 volume over 24 dimeter cube. Okay, But whenever the temperature decreases or increases below this 25 degrees centigrade okay, or even uh, or whenever the pressure increases then what will we use? We will use another relation that is called PV and R okay this equation is also called uh, ideal gas equation or general case gas uh, equation okay ideal gas equation or general gas equation is that clear so how this equation come uh, how this equation formed so basically uh, if you take a container okay for example this is a container okay and inside this container there are a lot of uh, gas molecules is that clear so what will happen if we keep the temperature and pressure constant okay what will happen that if we uh, keep the temperature constant is that clear so if we <clears throat> uh, apply if we apply the pressure on these gases if we apply the pressure what will happen that the volume will get decrease okay if increase the pressure the volume will get increase so it means that volume of gases volume of gas it is inversely it have in inverse relation with that of pressure okay because if we increase the volume if we uh, sorry if we increase the pressure volume will get decrease or if we increase decrease pressure volume will get increase is that clear so this is one relation in the same way if we uh, keep the pressure constant okay uh, what will happen that there are a lot of okay you do not change the pressure you, you are not increasing or decreasing the pressure and what will happen that if we increase the temperature heat okay if we in, decrease increase or decrease the pressure what will happen that if definitely if we increase the pressure what will happen that the volume of the gases will rise so if we increase the pressure volume will get increase and if we decrease the temperature volume will also get decreased. So this volume of the gas they have a direct relation with temperature. So this is another relation. Is that clear? In the same way if we keep both the volume and temperature at constant level. Okay. What will happen that if we for example there is amount of gases. Okay. Amount of gases okay in the same container the pressure is the same okay in the same container if you put more amount of gases more amount of gases more moles of gases if you add in this container what will happen definitely the volume will get rise over here so if we increase the number of moles of the gases the volume will also rises in the same way if we remain decrease the number of moles volume will also get decreased it means that volume of any gas also depends upon the number of moles so this is the third relation okay so volume of the gases it depends on three relation if we collectively write this three equation we will say that volume of the gas it is directly it have a direct relation with the uh, temperature okay 
it have universal relation with pressure and direct relation with moles if we relation 1 relation 2 and relation 3 if we write this three relation uh, combine this relation what will happen that uh, we will write n t over p okay is that clear so uh, in order to remove the uh, this uh, relative sign into and convert this into equality sign definitely we have to uh, add a constant that is r n t divided by p so this is the final equation okay this is the volume it means that volume of any gas is have a direct relation on number of moles of the gases and volume of the gas depends upon the temperature and volume of the gas have a inverse relation with that of pressure and r is the constant okay so uh, so r is a constant and its value is 8.31 uh, joule uh, per Kelvin and per mole. Its value is constant. Okay, it value its value is constant and it is a constant value. And this R is called gas constant. Okay, gas constant. Sometimes also called general ideal gas constant or ga general gas constant. Okay, general gas constant is that clear so this is about r okay so <clears throat> if you see the uh, from this equation the value the unit of r is joule per kilo per mole okay how this come out okay how we did use this value of r okay now let me again explain you that uh, this uh, we can write the value that is v volume is equal to r n t over p we can also write p v is equal to n r t so if uh, the r will be p v divided by moving uh, moles number of moles and temperature on the other side we will get this value okay this is another suppose give this an um, sixth equation okay now we know that pressure unit of we know that unit of pressure is called pascal okay and unit of volume is uh, meter cube okay unit of moles uh, n is mole and unit of t is kelvin usually calculate in kelvin most standard unit okay and if you uh, remember in physical that pascal which is a unit of term, um, uh, unit of pressure it is equal to unit newton meter okay why because pressure here pressure is equal to um, force into because work, uh, pressure is equal to force into uh, unit of uh, meter square yes newton per meter square because uh, pr pressure is equal to force per unit area here it's unit come out to be newton per meter square okay so we will write all this basic unit of the quantity that is pressure which is pascal uh, into meter square meter cube sorry and then mole into temperature Kelvin and we know that Pascal is equal to Newton meter square multiplied by meter meter cube over mole into Kelvin again we can use the formula as this minus 2 will minus 2 plus 3 it will become Newton meter okay divided by mole into Kelvin and we know that what is newton meter when in one newton meter is equal to joule if you have studied this in physics that what is joule joule is the unit of work and what is the formula of work work is equal to force multiplied by distance so newton meter is the unit of work or sometimes called joule so here we have find that newton meter is joule so we can write the unit of r is equal to joule per mole per kelvin okay unit of r and its value is uh, 8.31 uh, joule per kelvin per mole is that clear so uh, i hope that you've understood that how we have deduced the equation 
uh, the unit specifically from this um, uh, formula okay now uh, related to this I want to tell you that uh, there are also you need uh, to also you need keep in mind the interconversion of you know, unit of temperature okay inter conversion of units of temperature because here temperature is you have to know okay the first unit is how do you can convert convert centigrade um, into Fahrenheit okay uh, that is we know that Fahrenheit is equal to uh, 9 over 5 centigrade plus 32 okay in the same way if you want to convert Fahrenheit into centigrade we will write centigrade is equal to 5 over 9 Fahrenheit minus 32 okay so in these relations this is the values for interconversion of the values of the uh, Fahrenheit into centigrade the third important value which is the centigrade into Kelvin in most of the time the questions uh, in the book as well as in the A's level examination uh, the temperature values are given in the centigrade Celsius uh, values okay and you have to convert them into Kelvin you have must convert them into Kelvin so Kelvin is equal to centigrade value plus 273 whatever the centigrade value is given for you you have to add them with 273 in the same case uh, you can uh, convert okay this is you can convert uh, uh, Kelvin into centigrade by minusing 273 from the Kelvin value okay is that clear so this relation is used for conversion of centigrade into Kelvin and this relation this formula is used for conversion of Kelvin into centigrade is that clear and uh, this is the overall concept related to the interconversion of units now another thing is that Pascal uh, uh, as I told you earlier as well but let me remind that Pascal is equal to uh, which is a unit of pressure okay and uh, usually in chemistry uh, the pressure uh, is usually measured in atmosphere okay and when atmosphere is equal to 10 to the power 5 Pascal okay you need to keep in mind the value 10 to the power 5 Pascal okay so uh, again uh, the general gas equation are, which is PV is equal to nRT uh, keep in mind another thing very important thing that is that uh, as we calculated volume in other uh, formula uh, in this formula that n is equal to v over 24 decimeter cube we usually converted the centimeter cube into uh, the meter cube okay but in this equation if we have to con convert the centimeter cube or whatever the centimeter cube into meter cube okay you have to convert them into meter cube okay so keep in mind that one centimeter cube it would become 10 raised to power 3 meter cube minus 3 okay so it means that 1 meter cube 1 meter cube is equal to 10 raised to power 6 centimeter cube okay and 1 meter cube is equal to 10 raised to power 3 dimeter cube is that clear so in this way you can calculate the values so dear student there is a question uh, in your book that calculate the volume of uh, the volume of the methane gas uh, the weight of methane is given that is 272 gram of methane at a pressure of 250 kilopascal and uh, a temperature of 54 degrees centigrade the R value is given for you so uh, you need to calculate the volume of methane so first of all we have to write the data volume of methane you need to calculate okay so what is given weight is weight of methane is given that is 272 gram and whatever pressure is given which is 250 
kilopascal and we have temperature okay which is equal to 54 degrees centigrade we need to convert them into kelvin so 54 plus 273 it would become um, so 7 uh, 54 plus 273 comes out to be 327 Kelvin and uh, moles we need to find okay so we need moles we need we know that moles is equal to weight divided by molar mass molar mass of which gas of methane weight is given that is uh, 272 gram divided by molar mass of methane so methane have one carbon 12 plus four hydrogen four okay so dividing this value 272 272 divided by by 16 it comes out to be 17 moles okay is that clear now pressure is given it is in kilopascal so uh, 250 kilopascal yeah so 250 kilopascal is given for you and here it, it does not says that one atmospheric pressure if we if the inside the question this is at under the temperature of one at atm we will definitely use the value of 10 to the power of 5 pascal but here pascal value is given that is 250 kilopascal so 250 kilopascal mean that we have to multiply with 250 which value 1000 because kilo means 1000 is that clear so uh, we can also use the term in standard form that is 2.5 into 10 raised to power how many three four five is that clear so pressure becomes from 250 kilopascal it comes out to be 2.5 into 10 raised to power 5 pascal okay so now uh, we know that the formula is uh, pv is equal to n r t and we know that the value of r is a uh, 8.31 okay we know that we have to keep in mind that is 8.31 here in the question this is given so we will write volume on one side because volume is required n or t over pressure so number of moles that we calculated these are 17 multiplied by value of r it is 8.31 multiplied by temperature temperature that we calculated is 327 Kelvin divided by pressure and pressure is 2.5 into 10 raised to power 5 okay if you multiply the values uh, let us do the multiplication of this so 17 multiplied by 8.31 multiplied by 327 okay so it comes out to be and then divided by 250 comes out to be volume it comes out to be 0 0.18 meter cube okay meter cube keep in mind again uh, I will repeat that when we are calculating volume in this equation we have to take which unit we need to consider the unit of volume as meter cube okay so it is meter cube 0 0.18 Again, if you have, if you want to convert this into centimeter cube, so you need to multiply this with thousand, because one one meter cube is equal to one thousand uh, point one eight diameter cube, because one diameter cube is equal to thousand uh, decimeter cube. Is that clear? In the second part of the question, it says that the pressure exerted by zero point two four five mole of carbon monoxide. In a 10 dimeter cube flask is 120 kilopascal. Calculate the temperature in the flask in Kelvin. Okay, so you need to calculate the temperature in Kelvin. Is that clear? So again, uh, what what are the values given? The values are uh, uh, mole mole of carbon monoxide, which is 0 0.25. Is that clear? And then volume is given that is 10 decimeter. Cube. and I need to convert this 10 decimeter cube into uh, meter cube so it will come out to be 0 0.01 meter cube is that clear in the same way pressure is given which is 120 kilo Pascal 
in the same way if we convert this into Pascal I will get 1.2 into 10 raised to power 5 Pascal okay so uh, then uh, temperature they need temperature temperature is the required mental in, in the, this question so value of R that is um, what is the value of R which is 8.31 8.31 uh, joule per Kelvin per mole so let's start the solution of the question PV is equal to NRT pressure is given we need to calculate the temperature so temperature on one side PV divided by NR so pressure is given that is 1.2 into 10 raised to power 5 multiplied by volume volume is 0 0.01 so the meter cube and uh, this number of moles these are 0 0.25 multiplied by a value of r is 8.31 okay so temperature comes out to be uh, okay so temperature comes out to be 0 0.25 multiplied by 8.31 2.1 so 1200 divided by 2.1 is equal to 571.4 now they ask that you have to convert you have to find the value in Kelvin so this 571.4 is already in Kelvin value. We do not need to change them into another uh, centigrade or Fahrenheit interconversions. So it does not need further interconversions because it is already in Kelvin. Because all the units, if you, if we, uh, uh, if we have, we have studied that how in this formula the units uh, they are in their uh, basic form. Okay, so uh, 571.4. Uh, it's the answer of this question uh, another question related to this uh, formula is that when 0 .0, 0 0.8 gram of liquid X was vaporized at 100 degrees centigrade liquid X okay unknown um, material so 23 centimeter cube of vapor was formed that atmospheric pressure was one in was 1.02 in 10 to the power 5 Pascal calculate the relative molecular mass of the liquid so you need to calculate the molecular mass of liquid x okay so this is the requirement okay now let's see what are the given data for us we know that uh, weight is given that is 0 0.80 gram and uh, temperature is given that is 100 degrees centigrade and we need to convert them into kelvin so 100 plus 273 come also comes out to be 373 Kelvin okay so in the same way volume is given very important now here volume is given in centimeter cube 23 centimeter cube and we need to convert them into meter cube and I told you that one meter cube is equal to 10 raised to power 6 centimeter cube is that clear so definitely I will divide this 23 by 10 raised to power 6 okay or I can also write that 23 into 10 raised to power minus 6 uh, meter cube is that clear so this is the volume okay again uh, pressure is given value of pressure is 1.02 into 10 raised to power 5 Pascal so value of R which is given 8.31 uh, joule per kilo per mole okay so we know that the relation PV is equal to N R to T. So actually we do not know the moles of the compound. Okay. So what will we do? We have to find the moles of the data and then after that finding the mole we will convert them into molar mass. So pressure is given. Uh, pressure is uh, first of all we will arrange the uh, equation N uh, PV over R so n would become 
uh, pressure is um, raised pressure 1.02 into 10 raised to power 5 Pascal volume is 23 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter cube and here um, our value of R is 8.31 into 10 raised uh, here temperature it is 373 okay now if you see here it is plus, plus 5 and minus 5 so the value would become 1.02 multiplied by 23 multiplied by this standard form plus 5 and minus 6 so minus 1 okay and 8.31 multiplied by 8.31 multiplying this value with 373 it's 309.63 so okay now what will we do we will continue from moles okay now uh, n is equal to 1.02 1.02 multiplied by 23 and divided by 10 1.02 multiplied by 23 it's 23.46 into 10 raised to power minus 1 divided by 3 so number of moles would become divided by 10 2.346 divided by 30 99.63 so if I divide this value with 30 99.63 it comes out to be number of moles will become 7. Uh, 7.57 into 10 raised to power minus 4 so this is these are the moles okay now we know that the, in the question gram of the liquid is given that is 0 0.8 weight of the liquid is given okay so weight is 0 0.8 gram okay but we need to find the molar mass of the liquid so we know that uh, moles is equal to weight divided by molar mass so molar mass is equal to weight divided by number of moles so weight which are uh, which is which is uh, 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.8 divided by number of moles which are 7.5 7 into 10 raised to power minus 4 so let's divide the value 0 0.8 divided by 7.7 5 7.57 it comes out to be 0 0.1 and into 10 raised to power 4 uh, 0 0.1 1 okay so the molar mass multiplied by okay so 1056 let me write this value as a whole 0 0.10568 into 10 raised to power 4 so multiplying this value with 4 zeros we will get 1056.8 so this is the molar mass of the liquid X okay unknown liquid molar mass has been founded okay so in this we find the molar mass of the liquid 10 uh, 1056.8 this equation has been solved now related to, to to this question there is another question that um, on your book that a weather balloon contains 0 0.5 kilogram of helium calculate the volume of the gas in the balloon at a pressure of 0 0.5 and this so weight again weight is given that is 0 0.5 kg okay so it means if you need to find 0 0.5 into 10 raised to power 3 gram i write this in standard form okay because 1 kg 
is equal to 1000 gram. Uh, in the same way, pressure is given that is 0 0.5 into 10 raised to power 5 Pascal. Okay, and uh, temperature is given, temperature is minus 20 degrees centigrade. So, you need to convert them into plus 273 okay, into Kelvin. So, what will happen that 273 minus 20, it comes out to be almost... 253 253 Kelvin in the same way <clears throat> uh, you need to calculate only volume okay so the same we have to put the relation P is equal to nRT okay and uh, number of moles over here we didn't calculate number of moles so n we know that weight over molar mass and which which gas helium gas so molar mass of helium or atomic mass of helium is 4 so the weight of helium over here is 0 0.5 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 4 so let's divide this uh, 0 0.5 uh, divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.125 into 10 raised to power 3 gram sorry into this is moles okay these are the moles of moles okay so volume will become n or t divided by pressure so number of moles 0 0.125 into 10 raised to power 3 a value of r is 8.13 and temp temperature is 253 and pressure is 0 0.5 into 10 raised to power 5 so after calculating this value let's find the volume of this equation into 1 3 multiplied by 253 mm. Divided by zero point five five one four point two two into ten raised to power three minus five it's equal to five one four point two two into ten raised to power minus two so volume comes out to be five point one four uh, meter cube. Is that clear? Is that clear? So 5.1 meter cube is the volume of the helium gas in the balloon. Okay, 5.14 meter cube. It means that there are uh, at least uh, five, uh, almost five, because five meter cube and one decimeter cube is equal to one liter. So there are 5,000 liter almost 5000 liter gas in the balloon 5000 liter okay 5000 liter gas in the balloon in the same way there is another question uh, in your book that is when 2.0 gram of a liquid uh, why with a simple molecular structure of was evaporated uh, it produced 80 centimeter cube of vapor so the weight of the molecule is given that is 2.0 gram and uh, well volume is centimeter cube 80 centimeter cube you just need to convert them into 80 into 10 raised to power 6 minus 6 meter cube the temperature was 98 temperature is 98 degree centigrade 98 plus 273 it comes out to be 371 371 Kelvin pressure is 1.1 into 10 raised to power 5 Pascal relative molecular mass you need to calculate in molecular mass of the equation the same equation the same question so this is your homework uh, you need to uh, calculate in the same way as I did before you first need to find the moles okay like PV is equal to N or T 
okay you need to find the moles of the equation okay then which moles from this equation can be calculated pv over rt okay now after finding the moles you can easily convert the moles into molecular mass and how the what is the formula of molecular mass is equal to weight over moles or weight into n to this formula you can find the molecular mass of the compound y so this is your homework try this at your home and if you find the answer uh, you need to write it in the comment box another question that uh, when uh, uh, 0.22 gram of liquid p liquid unknown liquid is given was vaporized at 90 degree centigrade 85 centimeter cube of vapor was formed the atmospheric pressure was 1.1 into 10 to the power 5 pascal you calculate the number of moles of p we have to calculate the number of moles by adjusting the relation as nrt so n would become uh, pv pv divided by rt through this relation we can find the number of moles keep in mind that again we have to convert degree centigrade into kelvin by adding 273 with it and we will convert 85 centimeter cube into demeter cube so 85 we will write 85 into 10 to the power 6 meter cube keep in mind it is not decimeter cube okay minus 6 because we have to divide this value with 10 to the power minus 6 because 1 meter cube is equal to 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube or 1 centimeter cube is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube is that clear so you have to keep in mind the centimeter cube and demeter cube values Part 2 of this question says that calculate the relative molecular mass. Again, you have to, if you find the more number of moles, you can convert moles easily into gram weight. Because weight is equal to, uh, weight will become into molecular mass, sorry. We can convert them into molecular mass because molecular mass is equal to weight over moles. Okay. So whatever the moles come out, you can easily calculate the molecular mass of the question. The uh, question is that uh, calculate the volume of in demeter cube occupied by 0 0.4 moles of ethane gas at a pressure of 2.5. So here again volume is given, moles are given, you need to calculate the volume and pressure is given and temperature is given. Temperature, okay. So very easy. Uh, we will N R T divided by P. Moles are given which is 0 0.4 and or 8.31 into temperature 40 plus 273 40 plus 273 313 and pressure which is 2 into 10 to the power 5 pascal so after multiplication this is your homework as well this is this question is your homework so you need to solve the part c and d of this question in your book and uh, if you uh, are able uh, to solve this then please comment um, the answer in the comment box uh, so that I would become able to know that how much extent you have understood the lecture so this was today's lecture moles uh, calculated calculating moles of gases when uh, temperature and pressure is not specific that is when there is uh, there is no room temperature and pressure and there are variable temperature and pressure we can calculate through this relation that is pv is equal to an rt the important thing the tricky thing is that you have to know the interconversion of units of volume temperature and that of uh, moles so i hope that you have understood the concept